Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part four, the final part of Sonne's training session at Wimbledon. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the last 15 minutes of Sonne's training session where she works on her volleys, overheads, serves, and starts a set against her hitting partner, Tian and Brady, which ends badly. So if you wanna find out what happens, stay tuned till the end of the video. Let's check it out. So if you want to be effective on grass courts or on any fast surface, you need to be great at the net. As where possible, you want to try to be aggressive to close the net down and to finish the points quickly. Now, although in this video, you'll notice that Sonne doesn't hit a huge amount of volleys, this is an early practice session in her lead up to her first round match at Wimbledon. And in the days leading up to her first round match, Sonne spends a lot more time working on her first strike tennis, approaching the net and finishing up with a volley. In fact, on the same day in the session after this in the afternoon, Sonne and her partner, Nell Miller, had a doubles practice session where they hit plenty of volleys. After warming up her volleys with Tiana and I, Ben joined in to make it even more fun. There were three of us along the baseline and Sonny had to try to hit her shots in a corresponding sequence to each of us. This really helped Sonny to be really precise with her volleys, but also made it a little bit more fun. Every now and again, Ben would change this sequence. So rather than going from one, two, and three, she'd go three, two, one, or one, three, two. Go the other way, three, two, one. This was a great way to keep Sonny's brain engaged and keep her moving the ball into different parts of the court. What you'll notice when Sonny's hitting her volleys is she keeps her swing very compact, which is a really important thing to do when you're up at the net, especially if you're playing players that hang the ball with some pace. The compact swing allows you to prepare earlier to get your racket face behind the ball in the right place at the right time, helping you to be more precise with your volleys. You'll also notice that Sonne's setup is slightly further back so that she's got room to move onto her volleys. When you watch any of the world's best volleyers, most of their power comes from their legs. So moving forwards onto the volley and making a slight recovery backwards during practice is a really good way to get those repetitions in. After volleys, we did the same exercise with overheads. We did a few overheads without a bounce, and then we did a few with a bounce as well. Again, Sonny had to focus on hitting her overheads into certain parts of the court. The final practice for Sonny's net play was we were to play competitively and Tianan or I were to feed in a random ball to Sonny and then the point was live. Sonny's first volley was to go deep back to us but then after that she was able to do whatever she wanted, drop shots, angles, deep shots, whatever. Ben was constantly reinforcing the importance of closing the net down to Sonne. After her first volley, she was to make a good couple of steps forwards to make sure that her next volley was much closer to the net, allowing her to finish the point. Real 
forward, 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 forward. Once this exercise was done, Sonne and Tiana had warmed up some serves, ready to start a practice set. When Sonne was warming up her serves, she started off really slow, just working on her rhythm and her timing, and gradually increased the speed until she was up to match speed. service game, sudden death juice. This is where they started their practice set, but it didn't last long. I'll let you watch it from here. So as you saw there on the last point, it ended pretty badly for Tianan. He actually had a bad slip and hurt his hip. Shortly after, he went straight to the Wimbledon physio, but fortunately it wasn't anything too serious. And the next day he was able to get back to being a hitting partner for the pros. In fact, I actually went back to Wimbledon a few days later and saw him hitting with Alex Bublik, Oscar Otte and Nick Kyrgios. So he actually had a whale of a time. But anyway, that wraps up this mini series of videos showing you what it's like to train at Wimbledon with a professional tennis player. For me, it was really refreshing to see that there was nothing super crazy going on in these training sessions. In fact, I've known Ben for over 15 years and I've seen him coach in lots of different setups. And it was really refreshing to see that he didn't change anything when he was stepping onto those courts at Wimbledon. He's obviously an incredible coach as he's done so well with Sonny and some of the other players that he's working with. And so I wanna say a huge thank you to him and to Sonny for letting me join them on this experience. If you've got any questions about this video, hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to all of you. But thank you as always for watching this video, especially if you're still here. It really means a lot. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I'd love it if you'd consider it. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.